Hello, I'm Rain Grady, and welcome to this very special episode of Destination Thailand, where we go behind the scenes of the World Comedy Film Festival that recently made its way here to Bangkok. Join us as we meet celebrities and comedians from throughout the world, and as we celebrate laughter in the land of smiles. Stars of local film and comedy joined forces with a star-studded international lineup from throughout the world for a week of film and events in Bangkok. A red carpet opening kicked off the festival at Siam Paragon. On this night, audiences had a chance to meet Keenan Ivory Wayan, a member of the Wayan Brothers team who produces spoof films like Scary Movie, and the award-winning actor Keith David. US TV star Brittany Daniels, Aussie soap star Justin Melvey, along with the stars of Australia's Underbelly series, Guy Hood Bradley and Damien Walsh Howling. The biggest crowd puller was the smallest guest in attendance, Vern Troyer, otherwise known as Mini Me from the Austin Power movies. I'm really jealous because I love that scooter. My, my feet are killing me. Get, let me know, later I'll give you a ride. Hi, I'm Justin Melvey. You're here for a comedy festival. Yes. Are you a funny guy? Well, you know, I did the complete works of William Shakespeare at the Opera House in Sydney, and that's a... That's a bit more serious, though, well, isn't it? It's, 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 that's comedy-driven, because it's a complete works. I can't say I'm a stand-up comedian, but, you know, I laugh and I have a lot of fun. Natasha, welcome to Thailand. It's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Is laughter... They say it's great medicine. Would you agree? Everybody should have some laughter and some comedy of in their life. Of course. I mean, I think without laughter, life just gets uh, really, really lame. I mean, I like to laugh all day long, so I usually just hang around comedians. Sawadika. 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 Thailand Comedy Film Festival. Just off the red carpet is Garden Grantly, and in case you don't know, he's one of the big stars of Underbelly in Australia. Uh, I guess I am, yeah. Well, ah, are you? Um, I'm in Bangkok at the International Comedy Film Festival, so something's going right. What's your view on comedy? Uh, it makes you laugh. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to be an actor in comedy, comedy movies? Comedy for the soul. Um, I, I, I've, I've performed in lots of comedies, actually, yeah. I, I guess I get to see more of the goofy, goofy type, more of the, the, the dorky kind of characters, so... You think he looks dorky? I don't think he looks dorky. I don't think so. I think he looks pretty cute, actually. <laughs> oh, well, welcome to Thailand, guys. Thank you very much. It's great to see some women comedians here, like Tina Kim. Hey. Hey, I'm so happy to be here and represent the ladies. Yeah, it's uh -huh. great. And, and women are funny, too. Oh, definitely. It's just we don't get as many opportunities. Your family name, you've got a history from Korea, is that right? Yes, I am Korean. I lived in Korea until I was four years old. And me and my family, we all moved to Seattle, Washington, and that's where I grew up. Now, all the Koreans I know are very serious people, but, but you're not, obviously, not at all. Yeah, well, I can be serious, but most of the time I'm smiling, but I'm crying on the inside. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, well, what's your message to all our viewers here in Thailand? They might not know who you are, but what would you like to say to them? <laughs> what's my message? Well, be nice to people, and oh, and I'm single, so, and I like athletic men. So if there's any athletic men, uh, come to my website at tinakim.com and send a picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, joining us now is Conwera Sack, who's the chairman of the board at Red TAT, the man behind this actual comedy festival, and of course, former tourism minister. And so, congratulations. Thank you. Yes, it is very exciting. It's the, the first um, World Comedy Film Festival. As, as a matter of fact, this is also the first in Asia of the continent um, and uh, we are all very excited about having this uh, special event. We think this is going to be a good chance for the Thai, uh, not only tourism industry, but also the comedy industry in Thailand. During the festival, audiences also had a chance to watch the stand-up comedy routines of US comedians Tina Kim and Natasha Leggero and local funny man Chris Delivery. When you come to Thailand, you will come across a lot of Thai people trying to speak English to you, right? And you'll see, you hear things like, I am really hungry, nah. <laughs> okay. So if you hear the nah, just, just, it's just a, you know, 
and on. Do you want to go and eat now, huh? Okay. That's just, you know, just, that's just trying to make them, just, just trying to make you know that it's a yes-no question. Like, do you want to go eat now, huh? Thank you so much for the thank you. And I always get men coming up to me, and men are always like, oh, you're Korean? I've dated a Korean girl before. <laughs> like, okay, what a coincidence. I've talked to an ugly white guy before. Yeah, that's right. I'm just gonna go out with ugly guys, right? You figure the uglier that fool is, the better he's gonna treat you, right? Yeah, yeah, I really thought that, but then I learned a valuable lesson, is that ugly guys, right? They don't call you back either. Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Kim! Jimmy Kim! I'm a female comedian, thank you. Male comics are always coming up to me and they're like, Hey Tasha, don't you think you're a little attractive to be a comedian? And I'm like, don't you think you're a little ugly to be talking to me? <laughs> you guys are so cute. So glad you came out. Everyone's so attractive. Have you ever noticed that your ugliest friend is the most afraid of getting raped? It's like, relax. I think you're gonna be all right. Is that too dirty? I'm trying to be clean, you guys. We're in a classy hotel. Trying to have fun. Trying to speak do jokes to not people who don't speak English or know what stand-up comedy is. <laughs> this is very, very difficult, but it's fun having a good time. Um, thank you. Thailand then turned on its own charm and the TAT hosted a gala cultural night where the visiting stars not only had a chance to enjoy a taste of all things Thai, they also had an opportunity to wear Thai traditional dress. The results were both stunning and interesting. Keith, you've been enjoying the shows? I really have. I mean, it's, um, it's a great thing to be a part of, and I'm glad I was invited because it's, uh, it's quite wonderful. I mean, it, you know, we're... We're sort of missing the end of the uh, part of the traditional dance, and it's kind of fascinating because I, you know, the uh, the two warriors battling are the two uh, entities. I don't know if you call them saints or gods that were uh, that, that I saw at the temple. Yes. So it's kind of, it's kind of fascinating, you know, how uh, everything is uh, in the culture is sort of entwined, and you know. It's, 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 a, it's a great thing about uh, the culture here, is that the people live it. It's, it's not something like, it's not like religion that you do on Sunday. It's something that you do here every, every day. Part of daily life. Part of every day, yeah, part of every day. I think the way it should be. Damien, yes. wow, welcome to Thailand. Thank you very much. Now you're obviously enjoying your stay in Thailand because you really got into it tonight. You're in yeah, the Thai costume. Yeah, well, yeah, half yeah. and half. half. Half half. I had a little bit more of it on before. I had the big pants on and stuff, but I found that I was sort of moving a bit funny. You were falling out of them. Weird, falling out of them a little bit, but yeah. And I noticed you got a harmonica in your pocket there too. Yes. Well, that was we were going to have a bit of a jam. We still may do that. We'll see what happens. But you, you take that with you everywhere you go. Yeah, pretty much. It's. I mean, it's the most compact of the instruments that I play. I play a little bit of dig and some drums, but it's a little bit hard to take a drum kit with you yeah, that's true. wherever you go. But harmonica, I've been playing since I was about 14. Can you play something for us? What, right now? Yeah, absolutely right now. We're going to really see how good you are. I know. Well, that might work too. All right, we'll do that. Pull it back. Pull it back. Pull it back. 